and good afternoon everybody and welcome here to the season finale of the NRSL TGIF's Fatal 4-Way Truck Series. For a moment there I was about to say Reese's. I came back to the Reese's uh, Late Model Series. But anyway, we are here for the season finale at Zenjoltis Super Speedway. We are getting ready to crown two different types of champions today. We're going to crown a team champion which will count for all the drivers in that team. We will also be crowning a driver champion. And it's come down basically to eight drivers to battle it out for that title. Those eight drivers are our Bristol winner, Holden Gluba for Team A, coming in as the points leader. Austin LaPlante is now second in the points, only eight points out of the lead, representing Team C. Zach Rogers is 18 points back. He's third in the standings, representing Team B. Then you got Ryan Madden. He is fourth in the point standings, representing Team C. He's 27 points out. Representing Team B is Kyle Matthews. He's fifth in points, 29 points back. Jake Baskinger is sixth in the point standings, representing Team C. And he is 34 points back, as is Emmett Juckum, who is representing, I believe, Team B. B? Uh, I gotta look at it. I wanna get this right. Yep, he is representing Team B. He is also 34 points back. Ninth in the stands. And then the long shot, who is, uh, or sorry, I'm sorry, uh, Evan Jacob is 7th in points. And 8th in points, the long shot, is James Qualls, representing Team A. He is 41 points back. Technically, he needs a miracle. Tavy and Alexander will line up for Team D as basically Team D comes in with no hope of winning any championship, but he's trying to get their second win of the season. Let's get the command. Drivers, start your engines. Team D has only one win this season, coming courtesy of Tavian Alexander at Talladega a couple of weeks ago. He'll line up alongside of Matt McIntyre. Then you got Kyle Matthews, Kyle Keith. As far as our contenders for the championship, Matthews is the highest qualifier in third. Madden will be fifth. Zach Rogers in 10th, Gluba in 12th, uh, Juckum in 20th, LaPlante in 22nd, Baskinger in 23rd, and where is he? James Qualls is 30th. As far as the team points coming into this race, it's basically going to come down between Team B and Team C. Team B has a 62-point lead over Team C. Team A is 114 back, and Team D is 320 points back, so it's really questionable as to whether or not Team A will be able to battle for the team championship, but Team C still has a mathematical shot. Here we go, though. 20 laps of racing non-stop at Zenjoltis. Green flag is out. If wrecks take place, we still continue running. We do not have caution flags. Keep that in mind. And a wreck could take out a lot of innocent bystanders and thus end some championship hopes early. As you can see, they're already beating and banging, bumping and moving around. One car on the apron there. That's Austin Guy. We've got a wreck in the back. That's Andrew Rich. Andrew Rich in the 68 is around. Our winner last week. And there, who's involved? There was any competitors for the championship. James Qualls and Jake Baskinger. That could be their championship. Got another spin. Zach Rogers involved with Trek Togger. That's another championship competitor. And there goes more. Jesse Turner, James Shelley. And they're really piling in. I'm trying to look for championship competitors in all of this. I don't see any yet. Ryan Madden might have been in it. Oh, John R. just nailed somebody. Holden Gluba might have been involved. So is Austin LaPlante. Oh, and there goes Gluba around again. After contact with Chris Dowd. And, oh, James Qualls nails him. And also, Gluba got nailed by somebody. I don't know who. Might have been Grayson Acovito. Might have also been Carson Gum. And it's the points leader out. The points leader's still going. Gluba is still going. Not smoking. But LaPlante, I think, got around. He's damaged goods, though. Where's Zach Rogers? Oh, man, this is chaos. There's Zach. Let's go up to the front if we can find it. Where the heck is the front? Sam Rogers coming to pit road. Here's 
the front. Rocco Twyman still leading. The only driver right now that's in championship contention that wasn't really involved in anything, I think, was Kyle Matthews. But Kyle comes in 29 points back. He needs a bit of a miracle here. It could happen, though. You never know. Jump back. There's Emmett Juckum. He's still running. He was scored 13th last time by. But he came in 34 points out. So his odds aren't good. And where's Zach Rogers? Wait, there's Zach. Came in 18 points back. Right now running 21st. It's LaPlante on pit road. That's my question. That driver's coming to pit lane. And that looks like that is the 29 pulling into his pit stall right there. Is he still in the race, though? That's the big question. He pulls into his pit stall, watching the blue truck, and they're going to make a pit stop. Jake Baskinger's still there as well. Where's the 35, though? That's my question. There's the 35. That's the points leader coming into this race. I should actually bring up the ticker, too, so you can see who's leading at the line. Carson Gum's engine just gave up the ghost. He tried limping it around, and the car has now stalled. Gabriel Wanderly smoking, black smoke pluming in front of Holden Gluba. Now is Gluba able to continue? The 35 got nailed by somebody. It was either Carson Gum or Grayson Acovino. And if the 35 cannot continue, that breaks this championship battle wide open. The reason we're just staying on the 35 is because if Gluba retires, this has huge championship implications. It all depends on how hard the hits were. Into the pit stall? Are they going to work on the machine? No! Gluba is out! And that opens the door wide open for someone to maybe take the championship. Now where did Gluba get scored? Scored right now in 36. So right now, in order for LaPlante to take the championship, he would have to finish in 27th or better. For Zach Rogers to take the championship, he has to finish in 17th or better. So 27th for LaPlante, 17th for Rogers. Let's see if either one of them are in that position yet. Zach Rogers is one spot short. He's right now scored in the 18th position. And he's got a teammate in Dylan Young who might be able to help him get around Trek Togger. But Dylan Young's actually going to bail on his teammate and he's going to go on the apron battling him. LaPlante, I think, is still on pit road. Nope, he's back on track. He's 28th. How ironic. Zach Rogers and Austin LaPlante right now are both one position short of where they need to be to take the championship from Gluba. It all depends on if James Qualls and Grayson Acovino are going to retire 39th and 40th, but I think Luba is going to be 36th for the finish of this race. Oh man, this is going to be interesting. Is that for position? Oh, the plant's now 29th, but he just passed Ryan Madden, which means he's now up to 28th. Where's Zach Rogers at? Still has to get around Trek Togger, however, Car ahead of them, Zach Flickinger, that is for position. And so Zach Rogers, oh, he's now 15th is Zach. Zach Rogers right now is in the championship. He's got the championship locked up. Unless LaPlante can make some kind of a move late in this race. Right now, Zach Rogers is in a good position. We gotta go back up to the front because the battle for the lead is still going on. Matt McIntyre leading the way, Kyle Matthews second, Rocco Twyman third, fourth place Benjamin Miles, and fifth place is Caleb Hoffman. Kyle Matthews, a long shot coming into this race with where Zach Rogers is currently running. Uh, Kyle Matthews, he came in 11 points behind Zach Rogers. He needs to be running in the lead right now and winning this race with where Zach Rogers is running in order to take the championship from him. And where's the 33? There he is. He's now dropped back to the 
15th spot. So wait, if he dropped back to 15th, that means Kyle Matthews is 13 spots ahead of him, which means Kyle Matthews right now, I think, would be the points leader. It's going to come down, I think, between the 29-33 and double zero now. Also want to throw something out there. Team C really needs to have their drivers up here for that team championship. Right now, all they have is Benjamin Miles and Caleb Hoffman and Seth Cole. Team B still has drivers up here, though, with Kyle Matthews. Here's the next Team B driver. There's Hartnett. He's ninth. And then Juckum's in tenth. Boy, I don't know. I do not know. Let's take a look at the drivers out of the race and see how many there are for Team C, how many for Team B. That could really play a factor. See, Team C has one, two... It's like two drivers? Maybe three. I can't remember what team the O2 is on. Yeah, they have three drivers out of the race. Does Team C? Team B has one, two, three, four, five, I believe. Whoa! So I don't know. I cannot really, in my head, mathematically figure out if Team C has made up 62 points on track. I cannot tell that. One thing I do need to know right now is where are our drivers running for the championship? Zach Rogers is still in 15th place. Now, where he's running and where Kyle Matthews is running, whoa, Juckum lost some ground. That's actually a position that Zach Rogers picked up right there. Kyle Matthews has to get up here and win this thing, I think, in order to be able to battle the uh, points lead away from Zach Rogers. Now, Zach Rogers is running in 15th place. Came in 10 points. Whoa! Kyle Matthews nearly got taken out by Tavian Alexander. But going back to what I was saying, Zach Rogers came in 10 points behind LaPlante. With him running right now, I think he's now running in 14th. We'll see when they cross the line. Oh, wait, he's coming to Pit Road. Are they going to have to make pit stops here? He's 13th. LaPlante would have to be running in 22nd or better. Where's LaPlante at? He's 24th, and he's in a big group of trucks. Oh, that's because he just got lapped. Oh, my goodness. Are they going to have to make pit stops in this race? They might have to. And if that's the case, that's going to really break this wide open because Zach Rogers just headed for pit road. Let's see if anybody else is going to come to pit road on this lap. Matt McIntyre, though, putting on a good show. Trying to pick up his first win of the season for Team A. Watching the double zero of Kyle Matthews. The pressure's on him right now. Zach Rogers just had to make a pit stop. And Kyle Matthews, at the moment, would be the points leader. He's right now running in the sixth position. Is anybody coming to pit road? No, they're not. So was the 33's pit stop regularly scheduled? It looks like it is a regularly scheduled stop, but he's going to lose a lot of time. Armando Shazaz is also on pit road. So now if it came down between Kyle Matthews and Austin LaPlante, Matthews is running sixth. He came in... 21 points behind LaPlante, which means LaPlante needs to be running in 20... Whoa! Whoa! We nearly didn't even have to worry about it! They're beating and banging, and Kyle Matthews has been put in a terrible position more than once in this race. Going back to my original thought, LaPlante has to be running 27th or better to be tied for the points lead. And he's 24th. So right now, I believe LaPlante still has enough to hang on for the points lead. Unless Kyle Matthews can pick up some more spots here on track. 
Right now, he's back in the sixth position. Actually, I think he's in seventh now. Yeah, he would be seventh. He needs to get up and bypass some of these drivers here. Now, where is Zach Rogers after all this? Oh, wrong driver, sorry. He's right now scored in the 16th position. I'm not certain if that is official or not. They're showing him the first car one lap down, 16th. Let's see when he crosses the stripe here, what they update it as. If he is in 16th place, which they're saying he is, and with Kyle Matthews in 7th, Zach Rogers and Kyle Matthews, I believe, would both be tied. No, they would not be tied. Zach Rogers would have a two-point lead over Kyle Matthews. So for Kyle Matthews, it's all about picking up spots on track. That's what he needs to do right now. And he's been trying to and almost been getting wrecked for his efforts. So from who I see running where, it looks like it's going to come down between Austin LaPlante, Zach Rogers, and Kyle Matthews. Right now, Zach Rogers has the upper hand. But that could change, because we are not even yet halfway through this race. We'll be hitting the halfway point this time around. Whoa, Seth Cole looking for the lead. And he used his teammate, Jake Baskinger, as a pick to take it. Now remember, Team C is trying to take the team championship away from Team B. And right now, they got a number of drivers up here at the front. Seth Cole, Caleb Hoffman, and Benjamin Miles. They also have Emmanuel Hartnett in the ninth position, and then Seth Cole's going to easily get the spot taken back away from him by Matt McIntyre. Wow, that didn't last long. Also keep in mind, Team C is still looking for their first win of the season. They're the only team that hasn't won yet. But Matt McIntyre's got a strong truck, and he wanted to get back out in front. He has done so. Right now, three drivers for Team C run in the top five. Highest running Team B driver, right there. Kyle Matthews in the sixth position. Glimmer of hope for Team B is the fact that Dylan Young has now moved up into the top ten. He's battling for that tenth spot right now with Zach Flickinger. So that would be two Team B drivers now in the top ten. But there are four Team C drivers in the top ten right now with Cole, Hoffman, Miles, and Hartnett. So it's still going to come pretty close between Team C and Team B right at the moment. Unless something happens. LaPlante running in 24th place right now. He needs Zach Rogers to be running in 14th or worse. And Zach is right now running 14th, which means LaPlante and Rogers right now would be tied for the points lead. Now, the question is, if it's tied up, how would the championship be decided? They would then go to whoever has a victory, and Zach Rogers, who had a win back at Charlotte, he would take the championship based off of that. And Rogers just picked up another spot on track. He just bypassed JT Bryant with the help of Emmanuel Hartnett's draft. So it's a moot point now as far as a tiebreaker because Zach Rogers now by one point would be the champion. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's see if Kyle Matthews has made any progress. And it looks like he's lost of drafting partners. It's the one car on pit road? He just came off pit road, so Rocco Twyman just made a pit stop. So these drivers are going to have to pit at some point in this race, and a number of them haven't done it yet. And Kyle Matthews is going to stay out an extra lap. Looks like uh, Caleb Hoffman 
is coming to pit road this lap, as is Tavy and Alexander. So they'll give up fourth and fifth place to come down pit road. And that leaves Matt McIntyre to have to fend off two drivers from Team C, Seth Cole and Benjamin Miles. Matt McIntyre early on in the season was actually up in the top 10 in points, so he had a good start to the season, but then some hard luck in the middle portion knocked him out of championship contention. They got some cars up ahead that they'll have to encounter. Armando Shazaz, who just recently made a pit stop, and Kyle Keith, who's continuing on in the 21st position, but is hoodless. So when are these drivers going to have to come in? McIntyre, Cole, Benjamin Miles... And Keith's going to hold both Matt McIntyre and Seth Cole up. Seth Cole jumps to the high side. And he's not going to be able to get the run, I don't think, unless his teammate Benjamin Miles can help him up there, but Seth Cole's not able to get alongside. Let's see if they're coming to pit road. They're going to have to pit sometime. They can't make it the whole way on one tank of fuel. They're staying out another lap. Wow, Seth Cole got a tremendous run on Matt McIntyre there. We can't really check the battle for the championship right now. Oh, Shazaz blocked his teammate. And Seth Cole, Benjamin Miles, will go 1-2 to the front for Team C. Uh, Benjamin Miles is actually going to try and use the apron to get around Seth Cole for the lead. As things stand right now, our three championship competitors are scored as follows. Kyle Matthews is fourth. Zach Rogers is twelfth. And Austin LaPlant is twenty-third. As things stand, Zach Rogers by one point would be the champion. But there is still a long ways to go, and some drivers have not yet made pit stops. Including these top three, Seth Cole, Benjamin Miles, and Matt McIntyre. And Matt may be pitting this time? Nope. So we know they can make it at least 13 laps on fuel. And Matt McIntyre is going to use the apron to go for the second position off of Benjamin Miles. And I think Kyle Matthews is coming to pit road. He is. So the double zero will take this opportunity to now head to pit lane, giving up the fourth position. Now here's my question. Zach Rogers came down pit road a lot earlier than everybody else. Is he good to go on fuel, or is he going to have to pit again at some point? And we got a wreck! Jake Baskinger and Trek Togger. And that was Baskinger, I think, trying to come to pit road. Oh, man, Trek Togger was running in the 12th position. Baskinger was running 22nd. That's two free positions, one for LaPlante and one for Zach Rogers, which basically puts us still at a moot point. And Seth Cole just ran down through the grass with Ryan Madden. And I think he just lost the lead to Benjamin Miles. He did. New leader of the 99. Or no, it's not. Matt McIntyre is actually the new leader. Benjamin Miles is now two seconds back and Seth Cole still not coming to pit road neither is Benjamin Miles neither is Matt McIntyre they are stretching this awfully far this is going to be close this points battle is going to be really close let's see where Rogers is he's 11th LaPlante has to be running 21st or better and he is currently scored 23rd. 
LaPlante right now is two laps down. The drivers he has to catch are Jake Baskinger and Kyle Keith. Kyle Keith's a long ways up here. He's actually now in the 21st position. I think LaPlante may pass Baskinger. I think Baskinger had to come to pit road. But he has to catch Kyle Keith or hope somebody else between himself and Zach Rogers runs into trouble. LaPlante is indeed up to 22nd. Or he needs Zach Rogers to lose a spot on track. And the driver that Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, hold up. Dylan Young just got around Zach Rogers. Rogers is back to 12th place. We're back to the tie situation. The car that Zach Rogers does not want to catch him, actually two cars. No, the one car he does not want to catch him is the six of Wade Brummer. He does not want that six car catching him. If he does, then LaPlante could take the championship. There is Baskinger. And how in the world are these drivers stretching this fuel? I have no idea. Kyle Matthews right now runs seventh. He has to be a total of 11 spots ahead of Zach Rogers to take the championship. With him running in the seventh position, and Zach Rogers currently scored in 12th. That's only five spots difference. Kyle Matthews may be out of the hunt for this championship unless something happens to the 33. Or unless the double zero can catch up and pass some drivers. Right now, he is in the draft of the leader, Matt McIntyre. He's got to catch Tavian Alexander, who is way up here. Rocco Twyman, who's just ahead of him, in order to have any ghost of a shot. And I honestly don't see that happening. Matt McIntyre still staying out. Is he going to try and make it the full 20 laps? I don't think he can make it. But he's trying to win this thing. And it's kind of important that I mention this. Team C is running 2nd, 3rd, and 4th right now. The only driver representing Team B in the top 10 at the moment is 7th place Kyle Matthews. So the battle for the team points could really be in jeopardy for Team B at the moment. If you think about it this way, Seth Cole would get 42, uh, no, yeah, 42 points. 41 points for Benjamin Miles, 40 points for Caleb Hoffman. Put that all together, if my math will work in my head, that's 106 total points, as opposed to Kyle Matthews' 35 points. That could help close the points up for Team C. And how ironic would it be if the team that has not been able to get any of their drivers to victory lane this entire season could maybe walk away with the overall team championship. Again, we're going to check the 33. He still scored in 12th. I don't think the 6 has really made much progress in reeling him in. And there is LaPlante. He's 22nd. Either LaPlante needs to pass someone or Zach Rogers needs to be passed by someone. Because we're going to have a dead tie for the points lead. And the points lead would go to the one that has a victory. And that would be Zach Rogers. And Zach Rogers going to get boxed in here. Behind Kyle Keith and Ryan Madden. But he didn't really lose much momentum. As a matter of fact, if anybody lost momentum, it was Dylan Young. Zach Rogers would love to not even have to worry about a tiebreaker. If he could pass Dylan Young, then the tiebreaker wouldn't even have to be in effect. Tell me the 74 is on pit road this time. No, he is not. I'm not certain how Matt McIntyre has been able to conserve this much fuel, or if he's just planned to run it till it's dry. But whatever the case, he has not pitted. Seth Cole has not pitted. 
Benjamin Miles has not pitted. Those are the three that have not pitted this entire race. And maybe for Seth Cole, Benjamin Miles, they're just going for the ultimate risk reward of trying to finish well enough to get the team championship away from Team B. Is Matt McIntyre going to pit this time? No. Two laps to go at Zen Joltis. If these three can make it the full 20 laps without having to pit, they have pulled off one of the greatest feats in fuel conservation I have ever seen. Car up ahead, it sounds like. Oh, well, maybe not. Got a pack of trucks here. Togger in 16th, McIntosh in 17th, Juckum in 14th, and Jeffy Finn guy right now in 15th. Kyle Matthews, he's seventh, but seventh isn't going to be good enough with where the others are running. Back to Zach Rogers, still scored in 12th place. Austin LaPlante, wait, let's wait till they cross the stripe. Still 12th officially for Rogers. For LaPlante, still scored 22nd. Let's see if that remains the same as he crosses the line. Crosses the stripe. Still 22nd. The car that Austin the Plants trying to catch is Kyle Keith. And Keith just up ahead. Oh wait, no he isn't. There he is, right there. Oh man, how far back are they? Oh, the Plants not going to have enough time, I don't think, to reel in that four car. None of these drivers are for position. It's that car right there that is between Austin LaPlante and the championship. Zach Rogers still runs in the 12th spot as I believe the white flag was just displayed for Matt McIntyre. It was. McIntyre trying to hang on. On fuel. Trying to win this race for Team A and try to pick up his first win of the season. He has not pitted the entire race. He's had enough fuel to make it around this track 20 circuits. While many others have had to come to pit road, Matt McIntyre has not visited his pit crew at all, but he's gonna probably visit them in victory lane. Seth Cole, still second. Benjamin Miles, still third. Those two have not been to pit road at all this race either. Matt McIntyre pulling off one of the greatest fuel conservation feats I have ever seen at Zen Joltis. He'll come down out of the final corner to the stripe. Matt McIntyre will win the season finale at Zen Joltis. There's Zach Rogers. He's 12th right now. If he finishes 12th and LaPlante finishes 22nd, they will tie for the points lead and Zach Rogers with his win this season would be the tiebreaker. Still a long ways back. I don't think Dylan Young is going to give him that 11th position, which means Zach Rogers is going to have to hope that LaPlante cannot pass anybody in these last few corners. Zach Rogers coming to the line this time. He will be scored in the 12th position officially finishing this race. He crosses the stripe. 12th place officially on the monitor. LaPlante still scored 22nd. Nowhere in sight is the car he had to catch, Kyle Keith. I think time ran out for Austin LaPlante, but he gave it a great run at the end of the season. Coming to the line, is LaPlante going to be 21st or will he still be scored 22nd? Scoring monitor says 22nd place, Zach 
Rogers is going to be your champion for the NRSL TGIF's Fatal 4-Way Truck Series. Just enough to hang on. The season, after 10 races, finishes in a tie. And the deciding factor for the tiebreaker was Zach Rogers' victory at Charlotte. And Seth Cole's out of fuel. He got second, ran out of fuel. Matt McIntyre's out of fuel. I'll bet Benjamin Miles' tank is bone dry as well. Where's the 99? Kyle Matthews. Looks like he might be out of fuel. And there's Miles. Man. Zach Rogers. There's your champion. In a tiebreaker with Austin LaPlante. Will take the championship. Unbelievable. And as I look at the points, you have Team C finishing second, third, fifth. Highest finishing Team B driver was seventh. However, Team B also had Dylan Young 11th, Zach Rogers 12th, and Emmett Juckum 16th. If you look at where the drivers that finished way at the back were, Keith 22nd for Team B. LaPlante Madden, 22nd, 23rd, Baskinger, 25th. Richardson was back in 26th. Sanford in 28th. Brock, 29th. Geip, 30th. Art, 32nd. Gum, 33rd. Dowd and Acovito in 38th, 39th. It's going to be super close for the championship for the team championship. Unfortunately, I cannot do the mathematicals in my head well enough to be able to figure out here live who won the team championship between Team B and Team C. The only thing I could have done in my head was figure out the driver points, and Zach Rogers, in a tiebreaker, is your champion for the season. LaPlante, just short. If he'd had a win, it would have gone to top fives. Kyle Matthews gives it a great run here at the end of the season. Ryan Madden was able to survive for 23rd place. Emmett Juckum was able to finish 16th. And Jake Basketer actually finished out of the race. I was going to say he was able to survive, but he was not. So, the race is over. The season is over. We know who our champion is for the drivers, Zach Rogers. Now the question remains, who has won the team championship? I will be finding out the same time you do. Those points will be showing up at the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching every race of this season. Hope you enjoyed this season. It's been a pleasure to run yet another series under the NRSL banner. So thank you all so much for watching. Zach Rogers is your champion by a tiebreaker with Austin LaPlante. If that's any indication, how close will the points battle be between Team B and Team C for the championship title? Matt, Matt McIntyre, let's not forget him. He picks up his first win of the season in the finale here at St. Joseph's. Congrats to the 74 team as he is now down in victory lane celebrating yet another victory here this season for Team A. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you guys next time. Let's now find out who is going to be the champions for the team battle here in the NRSL DJS Fatal 4-Way Truck Series. Thank you all for a great season. I will see you guys next time. I'm out.